Okay, so we're going to start by looking at the external anatomy of skates and rays, which is about half the diversity in chondrichthys or cartilaginous fishes. It's about 600 species. So both skates and rays are dorsoventrally flattened. Um, skates tend to be more triangular shaped, sometimes somewhat rounded, whereas rays tend to be more kite shaped or wider, wider in about the midsection. Um, there are some exceptions to this, such as guitar fishes and sawfishes. Um, so skates tend to be thornier for protection, whereas rays have a venomous barb on the tail, which is serrated. Okay, so there. Um, another difference between skates and rays is skates have two dorsal fins on the back of the tail. Okay, there. And rays tend to have none or one. So on both skates and rays, um, they breathe through spiracles, which are located on top of the head. Eyes are also located on top of the head. You can see the snout here. Um, and so another difference between skates and rays is skates are oviparous, which means that they lay eggs. And so the eggs that they lay are commonly um, like this in these egg cases. Some species have very elaborate egg cases um, with tentacles or curly cues on the top to like stick in with vegetation and, and keep the young in the place that they need to develop um, and mature once they're juveniles. Um, both skates and rays have claspers for internal fertilization. These are cartilaginous extensions of the pelvic fin. Um, so commonly um, in these will be spines, which you can't feel it on the video, but that's a very sharp spine there. And so that helps to hold it in place when it's inside the female. And there's a groove, which you can see in there which is where the sperm comes out to be delivered to the female. So um, that's pretty much the difference between skates and rays and the external anatomy and the overall features. Um, with one thing I didn't cover is rays tend to swim by moving their fins up and down, more like flying wings, whereas skates tend to move with a more undulation of the pectoral fins. So for the internal anatomy, it's relatively simple. Um, so here's the nostrils, teeth, relatively small. They're more for crushing prey, things like invertebrates. Um, there's five sets of gills on each side. Okay, you can still see the gill filaments, similar to the bony fish. Here's the heart, the trilobed liver, which again, skates and rays and sharks don't have a swim bladder. Instead, they have oil in these livers. That's why they have such large livers that's lighter than water, and that's how they control buoyancy. Here's the stomach, spiral valve. Remember, the spiral valve increases the surface area of the intestine to aid in digestion. This is the rectal gland. The cloaca is down here. Um, and again, that's where the claspers, this is a male, but if it was a female, that's where the clasper would enter to place the sperm. Um, and there's no anal fin also on skates or rays, so another thing to point out. So that is overall, um, simple version, external and internal anatomy of the skates and rays.